This video is on weak configurations. There are seven weak configurations you need to know for Security Plus 601 exam. Open permissions, unsecure root accounts, errors, weak encryption, unsecure protocols, default settings, open ports and services. Open permissions means that it is not protected with permissions. Anyone can access that file and utilize it. Permission and permission logs should be audited actively in order to keep the network secure. Next, we have unsecured root accounts. They're vulnerable to takeover due to poor security configuration, such as weak passwords, or allowing remote logins as root. In my security career, I lost count on how many root accounts has the username root and the password password. It's a default that comes out of box. Next is error. One of the attack methodologies forces an error to move applications from normal to exceptional handling. If the exception handling is improper, it can lead to a wide range of disclosure. An example is SQL errors, disclosing data elements and data structure. Sensitive information like server, file name, and path can be disclosed by RPC error. And programmatic error can disclose information like stack element or line number on which exception occurred. Next, we have weak encryptions. Weak encryptions can be broken with modern computers. Sometimes organizations tend to use either weak encryption or no encryption at all while sending sensitive information. Next, we have unsecured protocols. A great example is Telnet, which sends everything in plain text. One can still use it, but it shouldn't be used to send sensitive information. Unsecured protocols allows attackers to easily have access to your information and even get remote controls. Next, we have default setting. Most of the time, default settings can make the system vulnerable. Default settings must be updated and secure as soon as you take it out of the box. And lastly, we have open ports and services. Metasploit is a tool you can use to scan for open ports and services, exploit vulnerabilities, look deeper into the network and collect evidences and generate reports. Rule of thumb is don't have open ports unless you're using it. It's basically another gateway for attacker. Oh, yeah.